name is John Rembold and I'm the airport director here at Hilton Head Island Airport. And I am super excited on both a professional level and a personal level um, to be here to do what we're doing today. Uh, a quick story about just me and my family. We live in the north part of the county and we often uh, do kind of a staycation up there uh, up around Fripp Island. So I am very familiar with the blue shirts. Uh, we've been out there many times with the Fripp Island Patrol. Uh, my, I've seen a nest boil, which is awesome. Um, and we've been on countless turtle inventories in the evenings and that. And the, the one event I've not seen, I've not seen a mama lay. So I cannot wait for that someday. Um, my children could be here to tell the story about what you do and don't do on the beach. They know how to fill in the holes. They know how to take all the, the stuff off the beach when the day is done. So they could deliver the classes for you guys. So um, when, when Mira came and said, hey, we want to put you know, a, a turtle in the airport, I said, bring it on. And, and David Ames brought the subject up as well from the town. And I said, there, there's no better thing to put in the Hilton Head Island Airport terminal than a turtle. So um, we're very enthusiastic to, uh, to unveil this today. Very glad that you're all here. And uh, we want to welcome our town councilwoman here, Ms. Becker. Thank you for being here. And do we have any other elected officials in here that we need to recognize? We have the masks on, so this whole disguise thing kind of throws me off sometimes. But uh, thank you all for gathering. We do have Amber Kuhn here, too. And I'd like to have her come up and say a few words about the program. Um, and just tell us about the exhibit, and then I think Mira's going to say some words too. So, okay. Amber, it's all yours. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, this is exciting. Whenever anyone says to me, Amber, that, that's just not going to happen, or Amber, that can't be done, that's when I make it happen <laughs> because I like a challenge. But uh, these statues are part of a series that a lot of towns do for like cows around town or oysters around town and I just order one so when I call them in Chicago and ask for one instead of 100 they're like oh it's Amber in Hilton Head so we'll get one every year this one is our second one in the series and it is for our lights out campaign which we started uh, really highlighting in 2020 so we have our lighting ordinance that just got revised Yay! Thank you, Town Council. Um, it's up to date, but Myrtle, my mask is falling, represents a turtle that's actually a turtle that we track with DNA. And she is, she's been recognized by the scientists at University of Georgia because she is a super mom, which means that she has daughters that are nesting, which means her daughters are 30, she has to be at least 60, and she's probably older than that. She lays up to eight nests in a season, which is more than we have ever recorded on any other turtle on our beach. She only nests on Hilton Head and she nests every other year, which is incredible. Usually it's a two year break. So Myrtle is an exceptional female turtle that comes to Hilton Head. She's a traveler. She travels all over. And we just uh, want to recognize her as a traveler here in the airport. We want the tourists to come in and see her immediately and know that they're here to see turtles possibly on the beach. And then we'll give them the message on our website, the QR code, to let them know what they can do to help with that impact on the turtles. Okay, so thank you for all coming. This is my staff over here in the blue shirts. Uh, they go out on the beach at five o'clock every morning uh, starting May 1st. So far nothing. Uh, we expect a nest any day now. There's one in the state of South Carolina in Seabrook Island. So uh, we're hoping for the second. And uh, we'll look forward to reporting at least 300 nests at the end of the season. Thank you guys so much for coming. Hi, I'm Mira Scott. I'm the artist who has painted this sculpture. I'm currently working on number three, and I've got the help of the children at St. Francis School, which is just down the street a little bit. But I also wanted to make a point of recognizing Renee Hushauer, who had volunteered material, and I can't even imagine how many hours 
to build this vintage travel trunk. The components are antique brass, 50-year-old um, leather off of upholstery, old upholstery out of Chicago, and a lot of love. And uh, if you look closely at this particular travel trunk, you'll see that the stickers that she's accumulated are from all of her travels, from here down through the Caribbean, up the coast a little bit, over to the Azores, so she kind of shares her little travel ventures with you. So it's rather appropriate that she be on a travel trunk in the Hilton Head Island Airport, and we're thrilled to have her here and focus. You know, it's a, it's a nice, it's a nice welcome for people, but it's also a huge educational component, which is critical with the volume of people that come to Hilton Head. As all you volunteers know, it is so difficult to get the word out to every single visitor that's only here for maybe seven days. And hopefully with this type of um, product out there in the community and the QR codes and the signs, the word will get out and our superstar will be world-renowned. Thank you.